previously in episode 95. Well, you know, what I find very interesting is that when you look at the um, cultures in West Africa, um, what's very interesting is that the way people here convey their their knowledge and religion and <clears throat> and even culture it's all around dance and music that's so cool what's up capoeira nation welcome back to the capoeira experience podcast thank you so much for coming back for the second part of my converse, conversation <laughs> with my conversation with my friend leopardo this conversation was awesome. This conversation was super, super informative because we talk about religion. We talk about the African cultures, the West African cultures, uh, and the correlation with capoeira, how how capoeira was in, influenced by this beautiful culture in general. Many, many countries came to one, one, you, you, it's kind of funny that it got compressed. It's like it got squeezed. And out of all the juice that came out of that squeezed, Capoeira was born and and down Brazil. And I think it's, it's a beautiful combination of many, many things and many stuff. And it's also a symbol of unity because if you see back then, man, they used to be tribes and those tribes sometimes they used to be enemy enemy tribes and you know all of them unified to create a resistance against the oppression and resistance against the the what was happening back then right and that's part of a history that's part of we cannot erase history but we can improve it right so that's part that's why we look back and that's why we learn from it and we go forward, we move forward. We're not going to be pointing at it like, you know, like uh, those relationships where you point at it, you know. You did this, you did this. Okay, yeah. But that was 80 years ago, 100 years ago, 500 years ago. You know, that happened. Let's move forward. Let's go look in the future and let's see what we can prove where we can prove so in my conversation today my second part of the conversation today sorry my nose a little bit clogged but my conversation with with my friend leopardo was based still on the same conversation about the african west african cultures where uh we we mentioned uh a little bit of, of the three aspects of the of the religion of the West African religions, and on his studies, he pretty much saw that there's three main three things that are uh, ruled for for all those African uh, West African religions. The three are going to be respect, loving, and care. Respect for our ancestors loving and respect of course for our surrounding and care for each other this this is just uh everything is is connected everything is is part of the same right so it's, that's that's how unity works and also we talk about the connection of capoeira and canon bleh and the the how how this beautiful art is connected to many many things in capoeira uh, uh, in in the African West Coast, and also uh, how how ignorance got and and our way of many people. You know, back in Venezuela, I was judged of being like, you know, why you doing capoeira? Even for my own family, man, my own family were like, why you do capoeira? Don't do capoeira. Don't do capoeira because that's bad for you. Don't do capoeira. Go do go to school. I I did graphic design, by the way. But they were like, you have to go to school. You have to do a career. You have to go to a company that makes you uh, a living. You have to go for this. So the the normal society try to shape people. And and I remember one time Mr. Paulão talking about this too. Uh, Mr. Paulão do Ceará in Capo Brasil. He talks about that too about 
how he used to be judged because uh, he was giving so much to Capoeira. And, you know, I got judgment from friends, family, and at work, uh, whatever place I was working at, and be like, oh, yeah, you know, you, you do the, this, this thing. That's not going to give you You're not going to get that far. And, you know, I am still here sticking around. So, and and same thing for, for other stuff, religion, the African religion. A lot of people say that's devil. But the most funny thing, we also talk about voodoo what voodoo is and and a little description we don't go in depth of of voodoo but just so you know listen to that part is going to be uh very uh pretty interesting if you don't know and you know just pay attention to this conversation especially if you want to know more about uh, ancestors and connection with the all with the past of what what was before us especially connected with capoeira All right, thank you so much for listening. And before we wrap it up and we go to the to, to the episode, let me tell you this. Let's unify the Capoeira community. Let's take away logos. Let's take away Capoeira, Capoeira groups. And let's do Capoeira together. We need this in our community. We need, we need unification. We need to be together. That's how we grow together. That's how we grow our schools. If you see in Europe, if you are from Europe, let me know and and confirm this to me and see if this is true. But what I know, what I seen videos, what I saw from people, uh, for, uh, some European friends that uh, they told me that Capoeira is huge, huge, huge there. Of course, still growing, it's still happening. Uh, some countries and cities are a little far, but. You know why they grow so fast? Because they stay unified. And of course, they're still the old school. And that thing of being uh, a trap in the bubble of like, this is my group. This is my only way of thinking and my only way of be do capoeira. That's the old school, man. That's, that's back in Brazil. That was when I started in 2001. That was kind of like going away. So let's forget about groups. Let's forget about Capoeira style. Let's do Capoeira, man. Let's do it together. Because together we're going to grow better. Together we can go stronger. And we need it. They, out there is too much negativity for us to bring it to Capoeira. Let's bring it together. Let's respect and unify to a better cause. And defend, defend this beautiful art. The good stuff. Because the good people, us, that are doing great stuff we're more we're majority majority you understand you know what i mean well let me introduce you to the second part because i am going to roll it to the second part please pay attention to this conversation sorry i talk a little long intro here but i just wanted to let my thoughts out all right guys you know what is coming peace Because it's, I don't know, it's, it's just my, my personal idea of like... Opinion, yeah. Yeah, of like, I feel like we kind of like walking away too far from respecting the oldest, you know? We we became, we become into to social media people and and we forget about the people that, that were there. Yes, we talk about like ancestors and respecting the ancestors, but we don't know anything about them. <laughs> and then... <laughs> you know, We, we gotta get information for from them or or to know about them and and w how, where where do you see like more um connections to the african religions in the in the mm -hmm. americas so um i don't know if it's the same name yeah but yeah for sure basically most of the religions in west africa are defined under the term animism. Yes. Is that the okay. same name in English? Animism? I, I, I think so. Where, like, like spiritual part? I, I don't, yeah. I don't, I don't really know. I will have to Google this to know because, you know, sometimes my brain thinks in French. <laughs> so I think the same name in English, but sometimes it's a different word. 
say say uh, say with my brain. I think in Spanish, and then yeah. I try to like say it in English, and it's completely different. <laughs> yeah. So um, the base philosophy of religions in West Africa is the same as Santeria and Candomblé. Okay. So it's um, respect. Yeah. Yeah. Respect and and loving and care, right? Yes. This, yeah. I, I will say these three are the base things of all the philosophy here. Um, we we also do have the respect for the ancestors, yeah. right? Because basically we think that everything that is alive is alive thanks to the ancestors. Yeah, 100%. So the ancestors are still alive in us because we're here thanks to them, right? Yes, yes. So there's also this um, thing of respecting the elders yeah. and, and um, the people that were here before us. Yeah. And as you said, it's the same thing in Capoeira because we have to respect um, the title of people, right? The mestre, contra mestre, professor, instructor. They're all some sort of our, I would say our parents, in the yeah. capoeira system, because yeah, you yeah. can think of the mestre as like the maybe the grandfather, and your professor can be your father, and maybe the instructor can be like your sort of big brother and, or cool honker. I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> cool honker. <laughs> that's that's a good one. Yeah, man. Yeah. So, yeah. so I would say it's the same thing, and um, in these regions, we also have to respect the surroundings it's a yes. very very important aspect of it yes yes 100%. because basically um god is seen as too far from us yeah and too great to be to be um thought about yeah. right yeah so instead of thinking directly about god you have to think about all the surroundings you have and respect them because they are some sort of aspect of God. Yeah, yeah. This is why people always make the mistake of thinking that um, people in West Africa kind of worship nature. But they don't really worship nature. They worship their surroundings. Yes, yeah. They know that God is too far. They have to worship um, what is close to them and respect and love and care for this. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And and because, you know, it's the same, like, a lot of people say, like, oh, it's great, it's raining too much or whatever. And then it's like, well, in the Yoruba religion, rain rain is part of, of nature. You know, it's, it's, yeah. we need the rain. We need that exactly. to be alive. And and mm -hmm. um, what I study back then uh, and the religion was, like, the the rain is actually the blessings from the sky because mm -hmm. thanks to the rain we we have fruits and the fruits can prosper so we can eat from that and is is it's just everything is connected right uh, at the very 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 end if you see deep 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 very deep everything is going to be connected everything everything mm -hmm. is connected mm -hmm. yeah i agree so yeah so many connections with um Capoeira, Condomble, and African religion. Yeah. For example, I'm going to give you an example. So, you know, Yemanja is the Orisha of water and um, the ocean. Yeah, yeah, and fertility and all that, yeah. Yeah, and here in the Ivory Coast and Ghana, also Nigeria, it will be Togo. People use Mami Wata to talk about Yemanja. So, basically, the name of Yemanja here is Mami Wata. Huh. That's pretty cool, but it's pretty much the same base. Yeah, it's the same same principle. It's in principle, yeah. Oh, cool, man. That's awesome. You say you said different names for other Orishas Orisha too? Yeah, so I think um so I forgot the names of the others, but when you go to Benin, because Benin is the the let's say the home country of Vodou. Okay. And Vodou is like a cousin of Condomble and Yoruba and yeah. all this stuff. They have specific names from the Orishas that can be different from the names we have in 
South America. Yeah, yeah. And, and it's yeah, also, the theme, the theme. on a side note, for people to, to understand this too, voodoo of the real voodoo is not what you see in the movies of like the crazy <laughs> exactly. stuff because I, I talk to people, oh, yeah, no, you know, the, the African voodoo. So, oh, and they get like, oh, but that's, that's, yeah, they're afraid. No, 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 no. Yeah. It's, it's nothing like that. It's, there's just in the movies, <laughs> the real yeah, stuff, yeah. The, the original real stuff is completely different. It's, it's, it's actually really, really beautiful stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, people, when you, you when you say voodoo, <laughs> people think about the, um, um, how do you call it? Yeah, the doll that you 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 the doll you want to you want to <laughs> like you stab with a thing and then yeah you stab the other with person. the thing exactly <laughs> they they think about the the doll and the thing but voodoo is nothing like that of course it's a yeah. very beautiful religion of yeah loving and care and you know all all the religions have the same base of respect yeah love 100%. and care one hundred percent all the religions around the world but what makes Africa a specific case is that um, since we had colonization, yeah, um, the missionaries, the Christian missionaries wanted people to think about their religion as a bad thing, right? Yeah, yeah. You know, this is sorcery, you're making um, evil things, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. So people got brainwashed about yeah, yeah, man. And they, they got away from uh, what is it really, and, and they stopped trying to understand the fundamentals of this religion. Yeah, yeah, and, and then and the same thing happened in Brazil, right? Because when they were trying to to um, to to contain the African cultural expressions like capoeira and candomblé. They were saying that Candomblé is sorcery or it's evil. It's yeah, bad. or black magic stuff. Yeah, yeah black magic. Yeah, so yeah. many people still think about Candomblé or Voodoo or Santeria as devilish thing. In Venezuela, it's the same. Yeah, again, mm-hmm. and actually, uh, I remember in the in the process of the initiation, you have to in Venezuela we have to dress one year of all white, one year. Oh, nice. Yeah, and then. Uh, like a hundred percent, you cannot wear anything else but white. And mm-hmm. I remember I was this time, I, I was one day on the subway, I was going down the subway, and this guy behind me, hey, hey, and then I was like, ah, oh, man, somebody's gonna say something. And then I was just waiting for the subway, and the guy, I got in the subway, and the guy behind me, I was like, hey, why are you dressing all white? It was like, well, it's part of my religion. Why, why, why you ask? And then he was like, well, you know, like. Like, uh, like the Bible says, these kind of stuff on, on like, uh, uh, like those are like devil stuff. It was like, I'm not harming you, am I? And he was like, no, but you know, you have you read the, the Bible? And I was like, let me ask you this. So let's say the end of the world comes tomorrow, right? Let's say Christ comes tomorrow. Okay. Tomorrow is yeah. the end of the world. The people that are on the mountains that are like, uh, um, Buddhist and all that that never read the Bible, so they are gonna go to hell. And it was like a like a minute silent. No, but you know we had you have to to preach the 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 for them to go to to the heaven and all that is like. But how how are you gonna do it? The end of the world tomorrow. <laughs> and it was like <laughs> no, no, and he comes back to that. And they, but tell me tell me something logic where people that are not harming anyone in the. Uh, in the mountains, they're there meditating, actually sort of, uh, uh, preserving life. And but the end of the world tomorrow is a Greek crisis and I kick them down to hell. I was like, Whoa, you know, and then he was like, and I was like, Don't forget about it, man, just leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> comes back to that, it's like because it's, it's like when people don't know something, they think it's bad, and then when when they, that's the first assumption they, they do. I don't know. It's probably bad, especially in the back then. And yeah. and it still goes down today's day for for all these kind of stuff. Capoeira. Yeah. Capoeira has a misconception. I remember back in Venezuela, people were saying, like, you know, you you 
you guys do capoeira. That's not gonna give you a life. That's not gonna. That's bad for you. You have to go to school. You have to go to do this. Yeah, blah blah. blah. It's like, dude, <laughs> why, why, why yeah, something that you're not? Brazil. Yeah, exactly. And why, why something that I'm doing is 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 bad for you? Is is on the on the me me bad side from your perspective? And it's just like crazy. It's just crazy. Mm -hmm. And, yes, and I do agree. People ignorant ignorance causes yeah. a lot of um, hate and yeah, man. shaming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ignorance. Ignorance. I always say like ignorance is very expensive. <laughs> it is because it is. It's, you know, it's, it's, ignorance causes a lot of stuff, and is is going. I don't know, man. It's just, we can go down for three hours <laughs> talking about those kind of stuff, but but yeah, and and. You you mentioned something really cool too that because the uh, colonization of all the all the people wanting to preserve their their religion their beliefs and that's when the secretism came up and then they were saying like well the uh, I think it's called sec syncretism yes, yeah yes, yeah yes, yes. Uh, when they say like well I'm kind quote unquote respecting your 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 saints and your gods and all that but underneath of that i'm actually praying to my my yoruba or or african religion yeah and this is Kondomba is all about right yeah 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 because they basically connected orishas to saints in christianity yeah for example um they connected the manja with um virgin mary yeah they connected, um, I think Jesus is Oshala. Yeah. Um, I forgot the others, but I think that Ogum is Saint George. Uh, yeah, something like that. I, don't, I, don't, I forgot the, the, the connections. Yeah. Uh, uh, Shango is, uh, at least in Venezuela, is uh, Saint Barbara, Santa Barbara. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and they all have um connections like this and it's awesome right because then yeah when you go to brazil you can see someone going to the church and right after he goes to the hero right <laughs> yeah yeah and he doesn't and there is no conflict between the two yeah 100 percent. yes yes and it's the same thing here in west africa because people people can be Muslim or whatever but a lot of them, they're still both, right? They can be Muslim, but they're also going to be um, their tr traditional religion. Yeah, yeah. It, and it's, it's, it's really cool to see all these connections because it's, it's important for us to understand how all this works and how how all this is connected. And I keep saying, I keep seeing people talking about like ancestors, ancestors, ancestors. Yeah, but do you know something about that? Is like yeah, yeah, you talk about like yeah, respecting the ancestors and but learn about it doesn't mean that you're gonna be part of it, but learn about it and how that works or how they how they were, because is is that 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 respect come from that knowing right and 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 I I think there's a saying here in the US that says like put put your money where your mouth is or put your mouth where your money is something like that <laughs> you know is is. Yeah, and and you know, is is do your homework before you talk about this kind of stuff, and then and so so is everything have to make sense, you know? If you can say something that that doesn't make sense. Yeah, and it's the same with capoeira. When you when you want to go different capoeira, you have to know history. Yeah. Right? Yeah. This is the way how you can connect your capoeira experience with the main principle of caring about your ancestors right? right yes because at some point when you have to when you want to understand their present you have to understand how the past was a hundred percent yeah oh yeah so you can't you can't um think about capoeira and you don't know who was mestre bimba <laughs> who was mestre pastinha yes who who was bizuro who was um Zumbi. Zumbi. yeah and all these big hist historical figures of uh, resistance in Brazil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they can be seen 
has the ancestors of capoeira and and how how much capoeira went from from their times to today yes until today yeah yeah and 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 it still preserves today's days and and like you said we have to we have to understand or or at least read about it and and at least see it yeah. for us to to i mean you you don't have to like memorize it but you, at least read it you know at least find information yeah. and look for it and for you to yeah, understand what is happening about today. It. yeah mm -hmm. yeah 100 because has um well any professor of capoeira will say this but capoeira is so much more than just the physical aspect oh yes i tell that all my stories all the time yeah so yeah. this is why um during the pandemic so catch told us don't think only about doing movement do some research Go yep. um, find some books about capoeira. Read about the Brazilian culture, right? Yeah. Because all these are also capoeira, and it's important to understand these because then you will have a better appreciation and understanding of the art form. 100%. 100% agree with that. So, for example, um, when I went to my trip in the north of the country here and I started sharing the videos about all the ceremonies I saw. Yeah. I, I tried to explain how this can relate to Capoeira, how this can relate to Capoeira or Brazil, and et cetera, et cetera. Because yeah. there were so many examples. Yeah, and, it, and, it, and it's, it's, again, everything is connected. Everything is connected. Mm -hmm. Same thing with when I was talking, which actually I'm going to have on the podcast very soon. Uh, last weekend, I went to North Carolina to a capoeira event, and uh, shout out to all my friends in North Carolina. And uh, there was uh, this lady, Sambista, Samba Queen, and okay, she was talking about all those connections too, of the connection of the samba with capoeira and the connection yeah. of the samba with other other uh, uh, cultural as part of, of the Brazilian culture. And it's, mm -hmm. it's so cool how, like, everything, everything, everything Capoeira is connected. Yeah. So Capoeira is pretty much part of the culture, of their culture. Even if it's a bunch of Brazilians, they don't know it. But there's so connected. It, it is so connected. It's... And coming back to Samba, you can even see some African dances here that looks a lot like Samba too. Oh, I, I can. I will also send you some videos of some dances, and you will see. Oh yeah, this is hundred percent samba. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The way they move their feet, it's the same thing. <laughs> ah, that's so cool, man. That's so so cool, so cool. Yeah, and and uh, to wrap it up, um, I want to keep talking, but it's 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 hard to. <laughs> Dude, it's, I wish. <laughs> yeah, man. It's it's like I remember back in Venezuela, I always was talking to my friends we started like at 9 a, at 9 p.m and we went to like over midnight two in the morning three in the mm -hmm. morning we see a time like dude i think we they started to go to sleep because we were just talking, wow. talking. <laughs> yeah man we can yeah talk we could talk all, all night about this yeah yeah same, man, same and and i love talking about it but i guess we probably can do another another episode <laughs> <laughs> and and to to wrap it up what would be a single advice from your perspective to the entire Capoeira community, whoever is listening to this? Oh, wow. That's a tough one. <laughs> but an advice I will say is whatever you are going through, never stop to keep not only doing Capoeira, but thinking about Capoeira. And thinking comes with a lot of... Um, possibilities because as we say you can find a book to read you can get to know more about a song and the history of a song or trying to learn portuguese yes we have so many possibilities of staying connected to capoeira 100 percent. and this is not only by doing movement or um, the physical aspects right but it's by finding much more knowledge and food for the soul i like to call it food for the soul through capoeira that's a good one that's a good one i like that one food the way of staying nice. connected yeah, yeah i would say stay connected 
Ne never lose the connection with Capoeira. Yes, 100%. This will be my advice. Yes. And now, and I, I say it, it was the, the, to wrap it up, but I, it, something just came up to my head. What would be mm -hmm. the, the you advice? Because you have a, no, a lot of knowledge with the African culture and Capoeira. So you, you have that connection with both. What would be your advice for, for people to, to study, to understand the ancestrality connected with African culture and Capoeira? Oh, that's a good one. I think if you have the chance to travel, because West Africa is not very known by people in North America and other parts of the world. Yeah. For example, when I say I'm from the Ivory Coast, very few people can say, oh, the Ivory Coast, yeah, I know this country, you know? Yeah. So if you have the chance to travel in West Africa, I would greatly encourage people to come visit and get to know the roots of um, the African diaspora in Brazil. But it will be also great. YouTube is your friend today, yeah. to be honest. Yeah. YouTube will be your great friend. Don't um, always try to... You can just type African traditional dance and see some stuff and, and try to think about capoeira through this dance and see how it's um, written and connected. That will be great. Yeah. Yeah. And, and again, because everything, everything is connected. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah well, I think this is the conclusion of the podcast yeah 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 <laughs> totally totally oh wait, thank you very much thank you so much it was super cool to to listen to to somebody that thank you that... for having me yeah man of i course. hope my pronunciation was all right yeah no <laughs> it was perfect man it was perfect no worries it was awesome and uh i like definitely definitely we are we we gotta do that again because there's other stuff that we can go deeper and yeah again, we can go hours and hours <laughs> i agree Yeah, we probably do like two, three more. <laughs> oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, wait. looking forward already. Yes, yes. Well, wait, thank And you I very much. Even, I can even prepare some specific. Oh, um, yeah, oh, totally, totally. Things. Yeah. And we can discuss about it. Yeah, oh, That yeah, totally. Be Because it, it's pretty cool information to share. And, you know, it's. it's It's good for, for people to listen to all these kind of information. And, you know, they're probably yeah. driving right now or, I don't know, eating, showering, whatever they're doing. Mm -hmm. Because the more you know about the surroundings of something, the more you will appreciate that thing. Right? Yes, 100%. 100, 100, 100. Well, man, thank you so much. Thank you so much for, for being here yeah. and sharing the information. And I'll talk to you soon, okay? Thank you again. It was a great conversation. Yes. Sending all my big ashe to everyone in North America and wherever you are in the world. Of course, cheers to Cadara Capoeira. And All my, all my team. Yes. In Canada. Yes. I hope people will appreciate this episode. Yes, yes. We we definitely, man. One of the, probably, I think the first one because the, you guys are pretty close here. One of the first mm -hmm. people want to visit once everything is internationally open is going to be Toronto. Oh yeah, I'm looking forward already. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I hope to see you there too. <laughs> oh yeah, you will see me. <laughs> oh, nice, nice. Don't worry. Yes. Well, man, thank you so much. I'll talk to you soon, okay? Thank you very, very, very much. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much for getting this far. Remember, please subscribe. Give us a thumbs up on Facebook or YouTube. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel. This is going to help us and help me to get bigger numbers and bigger subscribers so we can give more information, okay? Please, if you're listening, I know you're listening, I know you're watching, please give me a subscribe, give me a, give, give me a like, okay? I know you're watching right here or listening, all right? Have an amazing day. Thank you so much for tuning in and listening every single episode, especially the episode we just did, all right? Thank you so much. Peace.